Welcome to the channel guys, I'm Titus, Mid Valley Mercenaries, and I'm super excited to bring you guys this video today. Something very cool that I've wanted to document, and we've been talking about this for a year, is finally happening. Rocky, as you guys all know, my duck dog if you don't already, bred with one of my friend's black labs, and they're on their second litter, and my friend Nathaniel and their family, he's buying a dog, he worked all summer long saved up his money and he wants a hunt dog and he's getting a female from Rocky's litter. So I want to document this journey. I want to take it and take you guys with us, not just through the pick, him picking it out and seeing him as pups, which you're going to see here in just a minute, them at only four or five days old, up to two weeks and three weeks and four weeks and keep documenting all this and, and take you guys with us on this journey. But also when he finally picks his pup out and then the training process and the procedure that he's going to go through all the way up until she actually starts hunting. So we're super excited. Rocky's right over here in the backyard. I'm getting ready to go look at the pups right now. So stay with us and stay on this journey. There's going to be several videos to this series. Probably I'm thinking maybe 15 to 20 total because it's going to go from the puppies as at the littlest stage that we're going to see them today. I think they're five days old to when they're when she's actually out hunting in the field. So it's gonna be, a, I think, an amazing thing to document and to be part of, and I'm excited that I get to film it and also see Rocky's offspring. If you haven't seen any videos of Rocky hunting, check him out on our channel here. You can go back and see his training videos, but you can also see the hunts that he's been on, the experience that he has, and what an amazing duck dog Rocky has turned out to be. Um, if you don't know of him already. So let's get started and let the journey begin. Hey, buddy, hey. Dean. You can bring Come it. On in. Can you bring him inside? Yeah. Okay. Because he had to, that just cut two claws off of him just now. Yeah, he's fat little things, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're gaining weight, leaps and bounds. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling right now? Excited. Excited. You can pick the name out yet? Yeah, I think we're going to name her Kelly. <laughs> They've gotten yeah. since it's insane how fast they grow. They're like giant gophers, huh? <laughs> 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 oh, she wet her skin. Spoiled. You're already a spoiled brat. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Not spoiled at all. She tries to get up, she's like bam me on the eyes. <laughs> Feels too good. Are you done? <laughs> she looks like a little power nap. <laughs> we said she's like she, looks like well, a she takes a power nap and then she's ready to go. <laughs> 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 
one thing about the yellow ones, you can see their like face better. Yeah, right. Yeah, the details. The details of it, yeah. Yeah. See, I like her hair. Can you get up there? <laughs> She loves that duck. Mallard. That's a good sign. I apologize. I'm doing a voiceover now because my audio was not working on these next clips I'm about to show you. But here she is at seven and a half weeks. Love this photo right here. And uh, she's just a beautiful looking pup. But anyways, here's the photo. Here the Here's the video correction uh, that I did not have any audio on. So I'm really bummed out about that. But what we're doing here is just getting her some exposure to birds and she's just having a good old time messing around with some cinnamon teal some green wing teal and he just threw her a couple i don't suggest doing this uh without a lead or a leash so she don't take off with it what we buy and nathaniel's gonna buy is a 30 foot floating lead you can get those on amazon and they float in the water but anyways, the last thing you want is your pup, even at this age, to run off with it. But we're just kind of seeing her mouth shrink. She picks up those birds really good, honestly, for her age. I can't believe it. But, uh, yeah, she's running around here a little bit, which is no big deal. But I wouldn't do that no more. I was telling Nathaniel, and kind of that's what I was saying in this video, but unfortunately it cut out. Um, but what we do is get the little two-inch bumpers you guys can grab with your pup, what we'll, he's going to have with her. And that was just getting him her some exposure to birds and biggest thing is at this age there's you don't want to steady him you don't want to not let him run as soon as you throw something if it's a tennis ball i suggest a tennis ball that's like the best thing you can let him go but only do it like once a day or once every couple days at this age you don't need to do that don't wear them out you want to leave them wanting you want to leave it where they want to do more people always get puppies and they just throw it and throw it and throw it and then after four or five tosses they don't want to get no more and then they're freaked out so don't overdo it. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm showing how to stop them from biting. So put your thumb in their mouth, on their tongue, and clamp down. And puppies want to bite, and it really hurts and can cut you. So just do that. Put it in their mouth. Hold it down basically until they start pulling away from you. Like they don't like anymore. They're almost gagging, and that will actually get them to stop biting you. I learned that from a, an older gentleman that showed me that. Uh, food amounts for during this time, really, not a lot. Cup, or, cup a day. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but they're a puppy. You can just kind of go off their body size and wait. They're getting chubby. You can lay it back. Some people just let them free feed. I'm kind of more strategic in my feeding. Uh, check out, guys, our podcast, The MVM Show. I do a lot of this. We'll be talking about this stuff on there, and you can get a lot of tips and tricks you can find on any platform. Um, and just get the pup out as much as possible. Let, her, let them have fun. And uh, stay tuned. We're going to have more on this in upcoming videos.